Welcome to our desk stretch series. This is our full body routine. Uh, hopefully you have about five or 10 minutes in a uh, desk or space to stretch in. So we'll go ahead and get started right away. So if you are standing at your desk or have a platform or your back of your chair works just great. Uh, we're gonna start with a forward fold. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our hands onto our desk. Take a step back and every distance is gonna be different for everyone. And we're gonna go ahead and hinge towards the floor, dropping our chest as far as we can. Feet are about hip width apart. And if you'd like, you can go a little bit wider, soft bend in the knees. And again, we're just gonna drop at the chest and let the head hang loose. This is really gonna stretch and open up the back and the chest. Really change that blood flow here. And also kind of push your sit bones back more weight into the heels, really stretch the hamstrings, the quads, and deep breaths. Really let those palms rest into the desk. One more breath. And go ahead and walk yourself back to the front. Uh, so a lot of the times we're seated um, at our desks, so the hip flexors get contracted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a warrior stance to really open up the hips. So take your left leg um, parallel with your desk, and your back right leg is going to be pointing at the desk. And then take a bend in that left leg. Right leg is straight. I'm going to show you from the side here. You're bending in the front leg and straight in the back. So we're going to feel that in that hip opener here, inner thigh, and again here as well. And keep your hips closed to your desk. Hands can be planted, and we're using majority of our desk as support, not so much as holding this up. Friendly reminder. So it's straight out and switch feet. So your front foot goes, your right foot goes forward, and then your back left leg is going to be pointing at the desk. Shift that weight into the right leg. Again, we're here. You can push and shift, making sure that knee stays behind the ankle. Again, your hands are on the desk, and you're keeping your hips. Uh, close towards the desk. Good, come back. Going right into our forward fold again. Nice deep stretch. This time I really do want you to emphasize into the legs. So we're going to go ahead and just put a lot of our weight into the heels. You'll feel a huge difference here in the low back and that stretch behind the knee, so our hamstrings. So this time around, we're focusing more on the lower body. So just think again about putting that weight into the heel. Really lengthen the spine. Feel like you want nice and easy. All right, last time we're gonna do warrior again. I'll face you this time. So our left leg points out. Right leg straight and pointing towards the desk. Hinge into that warrior position. This time I want you to gaze back behind you. Keep those hips towards the desk and look towards back, back towards your right leg. Maybe this time as we're in warrior, you get a little bit deeper. Good, straighten out, switch leg foot positions. Again, use that desk if you need to for support. Gazing back towards the back leg, feeling that stretch in the neck. Basically from head to toe at this point. Again, hands would be on the desk if need be. Beautiful, come up, bring your feet together, kind of pedal it out if you need to. All right, next we're going to do a quad stretch with a side bend. So 
Hopefully your chair is nearby. I'm just gonna use my couch here. We're gonna take that leg back onto that chair. And if your chair does adjust, you can go ahead and do that for more difficulty. So the higher it is, the more difficult it is. So again, bringing that leg back like this and planting it on the chair. So we're gonna add on to this. We're gonna go ahead and tuck the tailbone, which is gonna lengthen in the quads. And we're gonna take, sorry, the right arm high, and we're gonna stretch and basically elongate that right side. So you're stretching the quad here as long as well as elongating the side, shifting that blood flow, feeling that bend. Beautiful, come back, relax the hips and shift off the couch. Left leg, find your balance, tuck the pelvic, left arm high, and bend. Bring it back and relax. Good, so we're gonna do some heel lifts. So a lot of times if you are standing or seated, uh, blood can pool in the lower body. So a great way to do that is to bring your feet hip width apart. And we're gonna, all we're gonna do is go ahead and lift the heels up off the ground and bring them back down. Keep those toes planted. Keep your balance, center of gravity in the center of the foot. Even as you lift, still shift forward, but don't let your body fall with it. Just a couple more here. Good, relax. We're gonna do a chest opener. So you're gonna bring your hands back behind you, interlock the fingers, draw those hands towards the floor. So like basically right behind your little back, lift off slightly if you need to. Shine the chest up to the corner of the room. Chin will follow. Deep breaths. Again, you feel that in the anterior shoulder, that chest. Draw those shoulder blades together and release. Good, last one. Once we're doing full body, we're gonna work on the upper body is still here. So we're gonna do some hand and wrist stretches. So we'll do them together versus right and left. So doing them both together, we're gonna take both hands out, um, making a high five, spread the fingertips nice and wide, close them, and then make a fist and squeeze. Open up, close, make a fist. Good, you'll feel that stretch deep in the palm, throughout the forearm, tip of the fingers. Good, one more. Good, let's do some wrist rolls. Switch directions. Really accentuate, uh, elaborate on that movement here. Good, kind of shake it out. Last one, really stretching up into the forearm. We're only doing one at a time, so make that high five position. Hold on in front of you, close your fingers, take the other hand and pull those fingers towards your body. Arm is about chest height and you're basically driving the wrist, palm region, away from the body. And make sure you're kind of mostly not letting those fingers limp. Get your palm really in there and pull towards the body. And you'll feel it right on the underside. Good, switch. Now the palm will face you, hand comes on top. Arm still stay, stays at chest height, and we're going to pull towards the body as far as comfortable. Now you're going to feel it on the top here. Perfect. Switch to the other side, palm away, push that, or pull the fingers towards the body. and switch. And release, nice job, shake it out if you'd like. That concludes our full body desk stretch. Thanks for joining.